Hi everybody, this is Maxine Taylor, and today I'd like to talk with you about Mercury in Pisces retrograde during March of 2019. Uh, many of you have lived long enough to experience uh, several retrograde Mercuries, and so my question to you is, have you found them to be retrograde or wretched grade? I hope to allow you to understand today how great, what a golden opportunity we have when Mercury goes retrograde. And I'm going to uh, explain it for every single sign, I promise. All right, Mercury rules communication, correspondence, and transportation. It rules our mouth and our minds. And when Mercury goes retrograde, which it does three times a year, this is the first retrograde, it appears to be moving backwards in the heavens. Now, it doesn't move backwards, but it looks like it does, and it feels like it does. And the way it feels is confused. Many people who are very psychically in tune feel the retrograde Mercury about a week ahead. Um, Everything ruled by Mercury, it just goes kerflui. Communication, our, our laptops, our PCs, our phones, our TVs um, can belly up. The beauty of this is that during the retrograde, it is a perfect time to tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects. And so let's say your refrigerator dies. Perfect, you've got to have a new one. And even though we say don't start a new project on a retrograde mercury, common sense must prevail. You need a refrigerator. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go out and buy one, okay? Common sense. Um, the mail can often get confused. Uh, if something is broken, this is the time to fix it. Relationships. If they're not working right, you can reconnect at this point in time or prepare to do so after Mercury goes direct, meaning it comes out of retrograde. Now, Mercury is retrograde in the beautiful sign Pisces. Pisces is divinely inspired. Pisces builds a castle in the air. And once a day, Pisceans return to their castle and add another room. And if you infringe on their castle while they're adding the room, they just fill up the moat, pull up the drawbridge, and swim away. Pisces deals with uh, <clears throat> nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, all of the things that we see as escapes. Um, that includes chocolate. Uh, but that's allowed. Uh, <laughs> tells you what I love. Um, they are, as I said, divinely inspired. They need more sleep so they can dream a little dream. Um, now, let me combine these two, and then I'll tell you what they activated in your solar chart. Mercury went stationary, meaning it quit moving on March 5th. By the 6th, it was retrograde and moving in its apparent backward motion. Mercury is going to come out of retrograde. <clears throat> it's going to go stationary direct. That means it's going to stop on the 28th of the month and move forward on the 29th. So let me share with you how this is affecting each of the signs, what it's triggering, okay? First of all, let's start with Aries. Aries Mercury is retrograde in Pisces in your 12th house of behind the scenes activities. You want more sleep, you want more solitude, you want more privacy, even if it's just so that you can sit on the couch and binge watch Netflix. It doesn't matter. You are being divinely inspired right now and you need your privacy. Taurus, wow, 
it's in your 11th house of friends and group activities and hopes and wishes. So this is a perfect time to plan and perhaps to reconnect with old friends. Remember, it's tying up the loose ends. Gemini, Mercury in Pisces is in your 10th house and it's retrograde there, which means that you're rethinking, revamping and planning your career. There are changes that you are making, uh, at least in your head. And of course, after Mercury goes direct, which it will at the very, very, very end of March, you'll be able to move forward. Cancerians. Mercury is retrograde in your ninth house. And this ninth house deals with principles and concepts. And so you're re-examining your belief system. It rules higher education. Are you thinking of taking some higher courses? And it does rule travel. So carry your luggage on the plane. Leo, in, you are feeling uh, Mercury retrograde in your eighth house of secrets, your unearthing secrets, whether your own or other people's. This indicates to me that you are right now a psychic detective trying to get to the bottom of things. The eighth house deals with other people's money and you can help them uh, create more money for themselves. Plan it now, launch it later. Virgo, all of your relationships are feeling the um, Mercury and Pisces retrograde in your seventh house. Your communication with other people may be confused. Do not sign new contracts. Rather, tie up unfinished business one-on-one -on -one with people. Libra. Mercury is retrograde in Pisces in your sixth house of work, health, and service. Get thee to a gym, okay? This is a, a, a time when you want to tie up the loose ends of a current job rather than beginning a new one, unless you want a, a, a temporary job, in which case, perfect with Mercury retrograde there. Scorpio, Mercury is retrograde in Pisces in your fifth house of bun. Yay, and children. So there may be unfinished business with children or an unsettled relationship with children, or maybe with uh, someone you've been dating, maybe it's unsettled. After Mercury goes direct, things should move along swimmingly, okay? Sagittarius. Mercury's retrograde in your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. Don't sign new contracts now. You can go house hunting, but wait until after Mercury goes direct at the end of the month to sign the contract. Capricorn. Mercury is retrograde in Pisces in your third house of communication. Have you written a book? Is it unfinished? Is it in a drawer? Pull it out. And during uh, the retrograde Mercury, finish it up. You may find you are either divinely inspired or have a certain brain fog. That's okay. Brain fog indicates information from the other side waiting to come through. Aquarius, Mercury is retrograde in Pisces in your second house of money. And so you're thinking of new ways of creating more money. Plan it now, put it into action at the end of the month. And last but not least, beautiful Pisces. Mercury is retrograde in your first house, in your own sign. And this is an indication that you are rethinking your whole image. Uh, you may be confused about yourself while Mercury is retrograde. I get that. But after Mercury goes direct, the new you emerges. A little note that if you can possibly wait until April 16th to launch your new project, that would be my suggestion because we will be in what is called the shadow of the retrograde Mercury until April 16th. In other words, Mercury goes direct on March 29th, but it moves up to that point at which it went retrograde 
on April 16th. And that's when all the symptoms of the retrograde leave. So I hope this has helped you understand retrograde mercury and help you move through it easily so that it manifests as a retrograde rather than a wretched grade. So till we meet again, this is Maxine Taylor saying, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.